Hey, what's going on YouTube? Welcome back to my Upstate Speed Test channel. And uh, today's a big day. iOS 16.4 has officially launched, which has enabled standalone setting option for T-Mobile. Not sure if they have that network running in my area or not, but in another interesting development, AT&T has turned on their very first C-band tower in my area. And uh, we're gonna check them out. The signal's either coming from this tower up here on the hill, or there's another tower on the hill over there, but you probably can't see it because of all the trees that are in the way. But anyway, there it is. 40 megahertz of download bandwidth uh, on N77. We're running on Boost Infinite via AT&T, of course. And uh, so yeah, let's take a look. Ignore those speeds, that wasn't from right now. We're gonna take a look and see what 40 megahertz of AT&T N77 looks like in my area. Wow, that's pretty good. I'm actually really impressed. Granted, AT&T's market share in our area is not nearly as high as Verizon, but probably higher than T-Mobile. Uh, anyway, 425 on the down, 63 millisecond ping, 648 for the loaded ping, which is not great, but not terrible either. 11 millisecond jitter, pretty good. 32.4 on the upload. Uh, now, one thing to note with Boost Infinite, the 5G indicator does not show the plus symbol unless you're connected to their millimeter wave, which, you know, good luck finding that on AT&T. But anyway, uh, yeah, so it's either coming from one of those two towers up there or one that's on the hill to the side, like I mentioned earlier. Uh, let's try a different server just to see if we get any different results. We'll try the Cornell University server in Cornell, up at Cornell University. 63 millisecond ping. Uh, for the life of me, I won't, I'll probably never understand why AT&T chose to start up here, but I guess it's no less of a dumb tower than the one Verizon started with out in Apple Lake. And <laughs> uh, anyway, just to give you, it looks like the speed test app is going to freeze now. We're up here on uh, Upper Front Street in Binghamton. The Verizon store, one that I used to be employed at, is across the street and to the right out of frame. This uh, shopping plaza has seen better days. It's not in the greatest of shape. And uh, yeah, the speed test app froze, so let's restart it. We'll try Cornell University again. This one's going to finish pretty similar, 363, 55 millisecond ping, loaded ping time on the download is a lot higher this time, 2 millisecond jitter. Much better upload speed though, going to finish about 53.6 there. Now purely out of curiosity, let's see what the fast.com uh, speeds look like. <clears throat> Yeah, those are still going to be throttled because of Boost and being on Boost Infinite, but I kind of, kind of expected that. And uh, also for fun, let's run an nperf test. We'll run the full test, but I won't make you watch the full thing. I'll uh, speed it up here for you. But I'll at least talk about the download. Okay, pretty similar performance on the download. Upload, also pretty similar. Ping times are actually looking pretty good, pretty comparable to the Oculus speed test. And uh, this part I'll fast forward so you don't get bored to death, but we'll give it a shot at it. I'll come back after that. All right, so we're back. Uh, looks like for browsing, we got 73.21, streaming 24.53%, 74.288 nperf test points, 
The download came in at 419, upload at 55.6, latency at 26. So there's the AT&T test results. I'm gonna switch over to T-Mobile now and we'll see if the new standalone setting uh, has enabled standalone N41. I don't think there's any in this area, but I don't really know for sure. So uh, bear with me, I'll be right back and we'll test out T-Mobile. All right, we are back and switched over to T-Mobile. We have 100 megahertz of N41 here. Uh, looks like it is now switched over to standalone. Literally, as I was sitting here uh, talking to you guys, it looks like the indicator has switched over to standalone. So that's, that's really interesting. So 100 megahertz N41. Let's switch over to the uh, speed test app. I'll give it a reboot here uh, just to make sure. But this is my first time testing standalone N41 for T-Mobile. I don't know that T-Mobile has the best quality signal in this particular spot. Uh, I ran the test once before the standalone indicator came on and it was roughly the same. But uh, 333 down, 35 millisecond ping time, 666 or 660 on the loaded ping, 226, uh, 194 loaded ping on the up, 3 millisecond jitter, 35.9 on the upload. So uh, interestingly enough here, it looks like AT&T standalone, uh, AT&T with their N77 is beating T-Mobile with 100 megahertz of standalone N41. Now, the only thing that could make this unfair, I don't know if the T-Mobile signal is coming from up there on that tower or coming from the tower over on the side that, again, you probably can't see, uh, because I think T-Mobile is actually up on both sites, uh, and so is AT&T. Could be wrong on that and again make sure you're subscribed when i put the drone up on these towers we'll go look at the equipment let's run it one more time just to <clears throat> see if the modems had some time to reorientate itself uh, it's wafting around all over the place here looks like we might have dropped a band oh, oh, and the test failed awesome let's try that again you know what we'll reboot the app too Here we go. Standalone N41, 100 megahertz. Again, might not be the best connection or the best signal in this particular spot. It'll definitely be interesting to see if standalone makes a difference on any of these sites. Also, it looks like my Verizon line just dropped out of the business for some reason. That's interesting. I tell you, man, this modem has some weird stuff going on sometimes. All right, so similar results to last time. 3.30 on the down, 27.4 on the up. Uh, let's run the NPERF test and uh, see what we get. All right, here we go, NPERF test. Again, I'll stick around and talk to you guys through the speed test, but I'll speed up the rest of it so you're not bored to death. Uh, 343 megabits per second down. Looks like the upload is going to perform worse than the Oakley test. And the ping times are also worse than the Oakley test. And again, I'll speed this part up. All right, we're back. Looks like uh, for the browsing, 78.62. Streaming 48.5, probably as a result of the video caps, just like on uh, Boost Infinite. Uh, this T-Mobile line is capped at uh, just under 2 megabits per second for video. Download 343, upload 10.3, 63 millisecond uh, latency. So, like I said, interestingly enough, with 100 megahertz of standalone N41, it appears AT&T is beating them with their newly deployed N77 on this particular site or area. Uh, let me switch over to Verizon. Uh, it's not going to be pretty. Verizon is kind of crappy in this plaza, but I'll run them anyway. Hold on. Alrighty, guys. We are back with Verizon Wireless. Now, Verizon is up on that tower over there. And they, uh, if I can roll my window down here, they have a small cell on that gas station directly behind us. 
However, last time I checked, the signal uh, tower number was coming from there. So let's see what uh, let's see what happens. Verizon uh, again, no 5G of any kind to speak of up in this area. I think uh, I saw that we are running 10 or 20 megahertz of uh, N6, actually I think it was 10 megahertz of N66. Uh, I might have seen band 2 in there, of course band 13, and I think there was one other band connected when I checked uh, last time in full test mode, but anyway, 82.8 on the down, 59 millisecond ping. Loaded ping time on the down is pretty bad. Loaded ping time on the up is good. Nine millisecond jitter, 35.8 on the upload. So that actually right there tells me we're connected to band two because band two in our area is 20 megahertz now. Uh, so the only time you get uploads above the upper 20s in our area is when you're connected to that 20 megahertz block of N2 or uh, band two. So let me run the nperf test for you next. And again, uh, just like the other two, I'll stick with you through the speed test, but then I'll fast forward the rest. And perf looks like it's gonna be a little bit faster on the down. And a little slower on the up. And here comes the latency test, which is just kind of meh. I consider anything under 100 to be all right. We're back with the results, 97.7 on the download, 26.2 on the up, 64 latency, browsing test 79.09, streaming 76.23, score of 84.76. Now, just to give you a full disclosure, there could be a couple different things at play here with this score. Number one, I have the Get More plan on Verizon, which is the highest you can have. My Boost Infinite line, obviously the lowest priority on AT&T. And my T-Mobile line is an old T-Mobile One military plan. Uh, so that obviously is going to affect the results uh, somewhat. So, you know, take it with a grain of salt, but uh, according to these results, Verizon performed the best overall. Uh, but, you know, the down, again, eh, uh, take it with a pinch of salt. I, I would call all the tests relatively level, except T-Mobile being, you know, slower uh, because of the lack of 5G. But Anyway, thanks a lot for watching, guys. Give it a thumbs up. Click subscribe down below. And definitely make sure you're subscribed, because like I said, when the weather doesn't look like this, I'll get up to the tower and take a look at the equipment that at and must have just hung recently, because it, uh, last I knew it was not here. So thanks a lot.